And we're back. And we just finished watching a Hulu original entitled The Princess from 2022. It's rated R with a runtime of one hour and 34 minutes. This was directed by Lee Van Kiet, Kiet, written by Ben Lustig and Jake Thornton. This is the story of a young princess who is never named. She's only referred to as the princess played by Joey King, who decides that she doesn't want to marry her suitor because he just doesn't really speak to her and he's probably too old for her. Well, she's being, he's for- ugly. She's being forced into the marriage. She's being Is she being forced into the yes, marriage? Yes, she's being forced. Yes, she is. It's, it's a political marriage. Okay. I guess the, the king and queen have failed to produce a male heir. Right. So in order for the kingdom to continue in prosperity, they need to marry their eldest daughter off to Julius. A guy he she doesn't Julius know. who I guess is the most powerful lord underneath underneath the yeah. kingdom. And underneath Julius is played by Dominic <laughs> Cooper. Always good at playing a bad guy. Yeah. I mean, he can be a good guy too, but he's actually pretty good at both. He can be a believable good guy, a good guy and a believable bad guy. But here he is wickedly evil. Yes, he's definitely evil. And when we start the story, she is... Was she drugged or something? I guess so. I guess. I don't know. She, Cause she, she seems was, like she was coming off something. <laughs> she's her. like, she wakes up... Did they let her get away from that in a tower in her bed. Yeah. And she's trying to figure... Oh, it seemed like at the beginning she was disoriented. She's trying to figure out what's going on. And you see in flashback that what you just said that... Yeah. Uh, it all takes place over the course of a single afternoon basically yeah yeah the action sequences were decent yeah there were decent fight scenes nothing too gory not too gory a couple of people got impaled one person got beheaded yeah but not not, nothing really bloody no geysers of blood or limbs flying this is tagged in imdb as action drama fantasy i don't see the fantasy princesses and knights and kings i mean stuff stuff. like that did happen Uh, yeah I mean, I, I, I could see the action, and there, I guess there I could see the There wasn't any magic drama. or anything. Yeah, there wasn't any magic or anything. Unless you, you count the fact that the princess could kill thousands of people. <laughs> she was actually pretty decent <laughs> for royalty. I mean, you figure princesses are like these flimsy kind of... Yeah. She... Honestly, to me, this kind of reminded me of Brave, but just way more violent. Okay, fair enough. That's probably oh, an yeah, interesting uh, similar, parallel similar there. Similar theme that she didn't want to she marry, didn't want the, to marry the guy for... That was political, also a political yeah. thing. Right, yeah. she just... Well, she didn't want to be married. I'm, I'm sure yeah, eventually yeah. she'd she'd want to do that, but she certainly didn't want to marry Julius. Yeah, well, Julius was sleazy and evil-looking, and he had his evil henchwoman... Which... Uh, with her bullwhip with a blade on the end of it. Right. I thought there were siblings at first. I thought there were siblings too. But which then when made they started the... making out, you realize. I mean, getting... hell, it's it, it's that's, it's I'm medieval. I'm sure back in the day, medieval yeah. fantasies. I think uh, Game of Thrones broke the seal on that one. Yeah, yeah. Incest. There was a there was an incestual relationship in and, that. Oh, oh, Game of Thrones. Let's just talk about reality. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ, the yes. most royal families are brutally inbred. Inbred, yeah. <laughs> These are the facts, though. They show, like, pictures of Richard III, and he looks like some sort of weird monster. <laughs> I'm going to go around the deal. table and get impressions. Olive G, that's actually a pretty good synopsis. This was like Brave, but just more but bloody. More violent. Yeah. And less charming, too. And less charming, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Merida was... Merida, Brave had a, an, an incredibly wider story way more interesting Interesting, yeah they're talking about family dynamics and mothers and daughters and this was pretty much just and there's magic it was almost like a we just i got to get to the bottom of the tower yeah yeah and that was i would say that's probably like the first 45 minutes of the movie is just her making her way down to the bottom of the tower yeah yeah what about you Gigi? what'd you think of this film did you like it no, it was all right, I guess. It was just all right. Yeah. Felt, you said it drags on for too long. I was, was so going to say, you said that it felt like it was longer, but it was only an hour and 34 minutes, which is kind of par for the course for most movies. I mean, it, you do it wasn't have... wasn't that long with time-wise, but I was just... Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Couldn't wait for it to be over. I could see that. I felt like some of it kind of dragged and got yeah. repetitious and... Yeah, it's sort of like too much of a good thing. I mean, yeah. it, it's... We like fighting movies. Oh, but, yeah. yeah. But 
I don't know. There, it, it just kept going on and on what and could on. have made this more interesting i guess getting to that resolution faster maybe i just don't feel like there was enough story between all the characters enough to like fill in those gaps mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't enough real background it was really just super generic like this this felt like a like an episode of xena it even looked like an episode of xena but maybe like if i think xena was an hour-long show this this felt like it could have been wrapped up in half an hour yeah yeah. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Olive G, did you have a favorite character in this film? Did you like Violet? I like the princess. You like the princess. Good. Why did you like the princess? Like she can just kill a whole, a whole army. She was in one go. She was she was pretty great with a blade. I was really surprised. I mean, you think of princesses, you think of kind of like wispy kind of ladies and very fragile. Like right? Dolls. Fragile. Like dolls. Uses. Like dolls. Fragili. That's Italian for fragile. Isn't that what we learned from a Christmas story? Fragile. Fragile. Did you have a favorite scene, Olive G? Probably when she finally kills that lady with a whip. That was satisfying. That and was also satisfying. when she, like, moves just so fast and they able to cut that guy's head off. Like, yes. Like, a clean nice cut i was gonna say that was i think my favorite scene and obviously we don't care about spoiling this because this was just an eh movie yeah you're yeah. not really getting any surprises here it's yeah it's oh i've been i wake up in a tower i gotta get to the bottom of the building and kill everybody on the way down and rescue my family yeah who are completely incompetent seriously the king the, the king, the king, how the hell just, king was useless it's, this is the it worst. definitely Jeez. inherited his his his, his position his position because he was Ugh. utterly useless yes nothing about it, it king felt was earned horrible. terrible decisions like all throughout the entire movie just completely incompetent but I will say for Hulu original, this is way better than Crush was. Oh my god. Crush Definitely. Was Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Crush was terrible. God. Yeah. So if you're going to see an, a Hulu original, I guess this is the way to go. Although we just finished murder the only murder only murders in the building, and we highly, highly recommend yeah, that. Was, that. that we blew that Yeah. We blew through that first season like it was butter. Yeah. Holy smokes, that was really good. And it kept you guessing. And I had a feeling that that was going to happen, but mm -hmm. anyway, I didn't. we digress. I completely fooled. Yeah, we completely digress. But this, uh, yes, I wanted to touch on the fact that the king was useless. Yeah. I mean, if you want if, if you want to watch a fairly tame action movie and there's nothing else available, this film is competent in that respect. Ten and up? Yeah, there wasn't anything really egregious. Egregious. No, I mean, it, no I, real profanity. I mean, there are some action rated, sequences and moments of peril, but it's not anything yeah. that a ten-year-old can it's, handle. It's rated R, but it's that's mainly for like blood, I guess. Yeah, there's like some blood splattering, but like I said, nobody is. It's is, not usually like guts or. Is, there's no guts. Nobody gets their arms and legs chopped off. Most of the wounds are well, pretty there is superficial. A, a separation of head and there is, shoulders. There is the one beheading at the end, but even that, <laughs> that is, was so, it even that is scary, very tame. It's not like, it's, it, I mean, seriously, so we've seen way, way worse. worse in Absolutely. movies. Like ex Absolutely. Like exploding heads and geysers of blood. Yes. You guys sure. watched this Fear like Street, nothing. so that must be way more horrifying. Yeah. Fear Street was more bloody. Yeah. yeah. I also thought her teacher, Lynn, was great. She was all right. Not really too much development there. Like I said, nothing was really developed. I think they just were like, hey, action, 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 action. Yeah, action, action princess movie. And that that was the premise. It's like, ooh, look, the, the helpless girl is, is the one who's going to be kicking butt and, and, and saving the day. Yeah. And it's like, okay, that's a great idea. What else you got? Like, how, you, how else are you going to fill it? And they were just like, no, that's it. That's yeah. that's the entire plot. That's All the right. entire premise, the entire plot. I mean, this is, I mean, this is just mindless popcorn, silly... Yeah. weekend fun summer movie right i don't it, think it's there's about no as, stakes it's about here as, yeah there's no stakes it's about as straightforward as you can get do any good guys die i don't even know i mean aside, I mean, did aside he from even have an army i just nameless, don't even know yeah, aside from like nameless soldiers who are i guess killed in the beginning of the movie kind of off screen i don't think anybody in her and uh, as far as like family members or characters that were given like at least cameos maybe they didn't have like lines 
I don't think any of them died. I yeah. mean, the, the Lynn's I mean, Lynn's the, the only people that died were, were the guys that worked under Dominic. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the chubby guy, which who I was glad didn't, didn't, didn't. Well, he didn't was die. one of Julius's men, but. Yeah, but he was like, he was the comedy relief in the entire movie. Right. Because it took him forever to get upstairs. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, we, check on the princess in the tower. The tower is like ridiculously tall. So who do they pick? The fat the guy. The fattest guy who yeah. can barely walk. Yeah. And he's just chugging his way up and down the tower throughout mm-hmm. the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's really not much to say here. Maybe I'll start getting numbers. I'll go around the table and get numbers. What did? What are you gonna give it? I'm gonna give it. I'm actually gonna give it a four. I think a it was four. below average. Really? Yeah. I mean, to me, it wasn't the worst thing I ever saw. It wasn't the best thing. I'm gonna give it a five and a half. I think it was. It was adequate entertainment if you're looking for something new in this kind of like girl power vein. I think this there's is so many decent. better girl power. Movies. I'm sure there's better. I'm sure I mean, there's honestly, better. Honestly, there there were parts even though there was like lots of fighting, I was still bored, bored and like almost falling asleep. I could see that. I could see that. It was just very mediocre. Yeah. What about you, Olive G? One to ten. What are you gonna give this movie? Seven point five. 7.5. So this movie was made for you. Yeah, I guess so. What about you, Gigi? Probably give it like four and a half, five. Four and a half, five. I'm bored. Okay. Did you have a favorite scene? Did I ask you that? No. Did you have a favorite character? Nope. What about you? Uh, no, I didn't really enjoy any of the characters that much. I guess the princess, because she's the focus of the movie, but it's not like as though she was really that charming dynamic, or yeah. dynamic or had much of a personality other than I don't want to be a princess I want to fight yeah, and yeah. it was like okay well give me something a little bit more you know, no, that's what it. do you like do you really have that strong of a bond with your family no we're not even going to delve deep into any of that there was no character moments really yeah you know? she had more of a relationship with Lynn than she did with her own family it felt yeah. like it was like oh let's train and then, yeah. and then that was a stupid scene too, because it was like Lynn is kicking the crap out of her, and then one day she's just like, "Oh, and now my my uncle's uncle. gonna come, and we're both gonna beat the shit out of you." Yeah. And uh, but she finds her warrior's heart. Yeah, and then sudden suddenly now she could she <laughs> so like ridiculous. ends up on the the winning side while she's getting wailed on by the two of them well the other the other thing well the other thing that i appreciate about the film was she took her licks i mean she didn't look yeah, like she she, look, she looked like she was there were hurting. parts where she was looked like she was she was hurting yeah and she's but it was covered all, in, in it, it's the typical the wounds you get when you know you're in a way a little cut on the shoulder oh got a cut on my side and then she gets oh and then after all of that she does that rescues her whole family beats all these guys up in graphic ways and then oh let's go up the stairs turns around bonk on the head Can't yeah see. that was like a rookie move right it's just like how do you survive all, all of the that? other stuff yeah and then you get knocked out by a nameless faceless stooge Who not even the don't lady ever see again. yeah not even the lady with the whip mm. just some nameless guy yeah. i mean he probably didn't even have a of credit. of credit in the movie. It was a guy who knocked out the princess. No, you didn't even see his face. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's well, like you so said they, You said they kept recycling the tall guy. Yeah, there were three very tall guys and they none of them you the only time you ever see his face is like right at the end. Yeah. And it's just like, and that's, I think that's you're gotta, right. That's, I think that was the same guy. That's got to be the same actor in all yeah. three scenes. There's one scene he's like this like almost nude barbarian wearing a ridiculous helmet metal helmet yeah which covers his face the second time he's in full plate male armor yeah totally covered and the third time he's like he's got some crazy beard and giant yeah. wig yeah and he lasts like half a second and yeah yeah he gets killed by the younger sister <laughs> <laughs> that was nuts yeah there was, was definitely nuts. some recycling going on yeah i mean i guess like the crux of the story could have been better but yeah what would you rather watch again this or crawl oh. <laughs> it's saying a lot when you could actually say that crawl had more in-depth relationships than this movie yeah. interesting interesting more character moments in crawl than this and crawl was like terrible there was another one this or the northman i'd watch the northman over this. northman okay. the northman was complex i mean i yeah. didn't really enjoy it that much but yeah. It was complex. There was like all these shades of gray yeah. and, and whatever. There was a lot going on there. Yeah. yeah. 
I wanted to like that more, though. I wanted to like it more, too, but it really wasn't a film. I don't think they were trying to make you like it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. here's a film you're probably not going to enjoy. <laughs> but it's very deep. Yes. All right. So what did we say? Four, four and a four, half, four and a half, five and a half, seven and a half. If you have youngsters i guess 10 and up this if is you don't probably mind your kids seeing blood and but and you want to maybe maybe this is sort of like a, a a slight intro into uh bloody action movies yes yeah this, this would probably be the the way to go there is so much better out there well but you if, you work your way up to that you work your way up to the raid i think yeah exactly and that's it from us and we will bid you all a good night good night good night, good night.